mathematics isn't going to wait around for you to be ready. It is not possible to learn if you don't do math. So stop sitting on the sidelines. Dive in, start doing math. And when you encounter a difficulty, because you know you will, right? Math is super hard. So when you encounter difficulty, each problem is a battle. You have to own it. Don't run from the hard stuff either. Own every problem, make it yours. So stop sitting on the sidelines. Math isn't going to hand itself to you. You know, every problem that you avoid is like a missed opportunity because it's a challenge. Now, I'm not saying you should go in there and do every problem in the book and just only tackle the hard stuff, right? Prioritize, use your time wisely. If you have the time to do lots of math, then by all means, do lots of math. And don't avoid the hard stuff because you're avoiding opportunities, opportunities for growth. That's how you get better at math, right? That's how you build confidence. It's through solving problems. Every problem you solve, you get better and better and better. You want answers, you have to fight for them. A lot of times the answers aren't in the back of the book. A lot of the old books don't have answers. And that makes it harder. I mean, sure, you can use AI, but sometimes AI is confidently wrong. So how do you get the right answers? Well, you fight for them. You do the best you can. Face the challenge. Don't be afraid of the hard stuff. Stop being afraid. One of the hardest things about math is that if you don't struggle, then you're not really going to learn very well. You're not. And that's, that's a really, I don't want to say unfortunate, but it's a reality, right? It's a reality. If you are trying to learn mathematics and you encounter hard problems and you solve those hard problems, you are going to get better at mathematics. That's how you get better at math, by solving problems, problems that you didn't know how to do before. Now, now sometimes it's good to go back and review the easy problems, right? A math problem solved is always a good thing. But conquer the harder problems. Get off the sidelines and start doing something because if you wait around, if you wait around for math to make sense, it will never make sense. You'll just be confused forever, which is a horrible thought. Stop waiting for the right time to do math. The right time is now, right? You might say, oh, I don't have time now, or oh, I'm busy with something else. Make the time. If you really want something in your life, whatever it is, you need to prioritize it. And when you do that, all your energy goes into that thing. And usually you do pretty well. So if you are trying to conquer mathematics, make it a priority. I remember when I was a student, uh, I had a teacher who told us that not everyone prioritizes college. And I remember being blown away thinking, what? Because school was my main priority and that's why I did, I did okay. So prioritize math if that's what you're trying to learn, accept failure and grow from it. One of the things you encounter in mathematics once you dive in and stop sitting on the sidelines is that you're going to get stuck. You're going to make mistakes. There's gonna be issues. So what do you do when you mess up? Well, you pick yourself up off the ground and you try again, right? You don't give up. People who know a lot of mathematics have an incredible level of resilience because they had to actually learn that all. It doesn't matter how smart you are, you still have to put in the work. You still have to put in the effort. And believe me, math gets really hard. It gets so hard that even the smartest people in the world still have to work a lot to conquer the math that they are working on. So it's not easy. The real secret is to be consistent. Every single day, you need to grind, you need to do mathematics. If you do math, every day you are going to get better at it it doesn't matter if it's math if you do anything every single day you're going to get better at it if you go ride your bike around the block every day you're going to get better at riding your bike if you play basketball every day you're going to get better at playing basketball so if you do math every day you're going to get better at doing mathematics so stop sitting on the sidelines right dive in you'll never learn if you don't jump in and the best time is right now, you know, pick up a piece of paper, get a book, sit down, start doing some problems, even just one problem. I guarantee if you do one problem a day, 
it will it will change everything. Like if you wake up every morning and you have your little routine, whatever it is you do, and you incorporate one math problem into that routine, doesn't matter what it is, it's a great way to clear your mind. I certainly think it's a better way than scrolling through the phone, right? I mean, nothing wrong with scrolling through the phone. I love doing that, but you need some discipline. You need to learn math and to learn math, you need discipline. So stop sitting on the sidelines, own it. It will never make sense if you don't jump in. And that is the key takeaway you should take from this video. A lot of times I think that people spend a lot of time thinking about math and thinking about what math they want to study, but they don't actually do math. And this is a common problem that everyone experiences. You're not alone. This is this is the reality of it. And the reason is because math is hard, right? So it's 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 more fun to or more, it's easier to think about what you want to do than actually do it. You know, you can have all these great ideas and big plans, but the thing is, great ideas and big plans require a lot of work. And math requires a lot of work. And I'm not saying it's not good to work, but it's hard. It's a struggle. And you need to embrace it. And eventually, you grow and you get better. And you get better at math. You get better at math. You can get a lot better. You would be surprised how good you can get at math in just a few weeks. I have seen people rise from the ashes, people who could barely solve equations, linear equations, and within a few weeks, they're doing quadratic equations, they're graphing simple parabolas. I mean, they know mathematics, right? They know some basic math. In fact, they're better at it than calculus students, right? Because they just learned it, so it's fresh in their minds. You can get better. If you are afraid of math, your fears aren't gonna disappear, but every time you solve a problem, you're gonna become more confident, and eventually, you won't really be afraid of mathematics. You'll be able to pick up a book, like one of these books behind me here, open it up and start reading it and understand most of the material. Sure, you're gonna get stuck, it's not, it's not perfect, but you can pick it up and you can start learning math on your own. You can get to that level. And one way to do it is to jump in and do it every single day. So stop waiting around for math to make sense, right? It's, it's not gonna make sense until you jump in. Now, if you want to learn math, I do actually have courses. The links are in the description of this video or on my website, mathsorcerer.com. My courses are on Udemy, which is a reputable place. So check those out. Use my links. Why? Because it helps me. <laughs> and I've lowered the prices to the bare minimum. So you should get a low price when you click my courses. Also, I have books, uh, collectible books. Uh, some are auctions. Uh, for a penny, some are fixed price. Check them out on my eBay store, right? That's pretty cool. And study, right? Don't give up. If you're watching this video, that means you care about learning math. You can do it, but you need to jump in. You need to start doing math now. Remember, math isn't just going to make sense all of a sudden, right? You need to jump in. The only time you have is the present. It's right now. So do it. Start doing some math. Good luck.